So what you're trying to say is that you don't feel anything? It's not that I can't feel anything, it's just... I just... All I feel is anger and sadness. So you're telling me you don't feel joy, happiness? Exactly, I can't feel happiness. I, All I feel is emptiness. And anger, it's... I don't know. Anger? Will you feel free to give me an example? Of why you're always angry? For example, let's say someone's tapping their feet, or talking, or doing the tiniest thing. It gets me so aggravated, and it gets me so angry. And when my anger builds up, I start yelling. That's why I only have one friend left. I see your problem here, Veronica. You're becoming numb. So, are you coming to the games this weekend? Um, I don't know. Well, you better think about it. Your boyfriend's gonna be there. What's wrong? I might break up with him. What? Why? I don't know. Did you really mean what you said earlier? Yes, I did. Well, what's the reason? You have to have a reason to break up with someone. You can't just do it out of nowhere. Do you not love him anymore? I don't want to be with him anymore. Is that a problem? No, there isn't, but you have to have a reason why you're going to break up with him. If I did, and if I even didn't have a reason, I wouldn't have to tell you. Even though we're friends, doesn't make me have to tell you everything. Wow, you're a great friend. Veronica. What do you want? And what is Toby doing here? I told Toby everything that you said, that you're gonna break up with him? And you're gonna break up with me for no reason at all? Listen, Toby, you're an amazing guy, but I'm just not interested. Talk. can you ever feel anything? No wonder you're going to therapy. And no wonder your boyfriend slept with me. Excuse me? Wait, what the hell are you talking about? Now if excuse me, I have to get to class. <sighs> Excuse me, you two lovebirds, but you're in my way of my locker. Thank you. You never told me why you broke up with him. You know, I never made it official that I was breaking up with him. Now look at you two, all up in each other's throats. Now please move out of my way. Listen, Veronica, I'm sorry. Whatever I did, just please. I want to be with you. Why don't you understand, Veronica, please? I don't care, Toby. I don't want you in my life. What don't you understand? Now move. Veronica, move! Thank you. You said she wanted me back. As long as I played along with your little plan. Listen, Toby, I thought it was going to work, but I guess not. But why doesn't she want me? I gave her everything. I don't know. I'll just drop it already. She's done with you. Move along already. Bitch. Oh my dog, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that I was looking down at my schedule because I'm new here and I didn't see you coming my way. Don't worry, 
angry about it. So, what's your name? My name's Mordecai. How about yours? Veronica. What's your next period? Biology with Mr. Hanks. Hey, that's my next period too. Do you want to come along? Of course. Well, follow me. Mr. Hanks, we have a new student. Ah, uh, yes, you must be Mordecai. Please take a seat, wherever you like. You can sit next to me. I have an open seat. Okay. Did you bring your book? Oh, crap, I forgot it. It's fine, we can share. Gee, thanks, you're so kind to me. Why? That's what friends do. <laughs> friends? We aren't friends? Oh no, 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 of course. You're kind of in my seat. Well, I'm sorry, Veronica said this is an OPC. I mean, it is now, isn't it? I mean, you don't want to be friends with me, right? After you kissed my boyfriend? You guys broke up. I don't understand what your problem is. I never made it official, like I said. Oh, there's four rows for you to sit in. How about you go sit next to Geese Dave? Ugh! Do you guys have bad blood against each other? No, she just has this like, grudge against me. I don't know. But, um, it's old news. Don't worry. Me and her won't be talking for any longer. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just nothing. Tomorrow is the day that I end Victoria's life. She always has a problem with me, it's always aggravating me. I have no other choice, I have to kill her. I'll just make it look like it's an accident. <laughs> Here are the ways I'm gonna try to kill her. Well, a slow death, obviously. Before I kill her, I will torture her. Hello darling, are you writing the story again? Yes, I am. <laughs> It's all gonna come true soon. Come true? Well, you better put a lotto ticket and make it win one million dollars. I'll make sure to put that there. Well, darling, you have therapy tomorrow. As long as you don't have any plans. Actually, Mom, I have one thing to do before I go to therapy, but I'll make it quick. What are you gonna do? Hang out with your friends or go to the mall? <laughs> Something better. <laughs> Trust me, it's all going to be worth it. Dog, you sound crazy. Well, I gotta go take a shower. Bye, dearie. I hope you make tomorrow very special. I love you. And don't worry, I'll make it extra special. Time to write a list. What's that for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have you always had feelings for me? <laughs> no, not really, but that was fun. <laughs> so you kissed me for fun? <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, I like this game. <laughs> Whoa there. It's not going to happen again. Oh, wait up! Hey, Victoria. Ugh, what do you want? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And why should I accept your apology? 
because I mean it, and I'm very sorry that I never told you the reason about me breaking up with Toby, even though it wasn't official. <sighs> anyway, the reason why I wanted to break up with Toby was because I'm into girls. My dog, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I was being so mean to you, and you, I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's fine. It's just, I don't know, guys aren't for me. I totally understand. Love who you love. Thanks. So, if you do accept my apology, would you like me to hang out at your place? I mean, yeah, I just can't tell my mom because she's out for vacation and she doesn't want anyone over, even if it's you. Well, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'll see you there. Yeah, see ya. Oh, hey, you came. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Perfect. Come on. Follow me to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. So I'm just cooking dinner for us so we can watch a movie right after. Right. So what are you planning to make? Making fried chicken, but with some mashed potatoes and some bread. And I'm gonna make an apple pie for dessert, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bread? Yeah, it was my grandmother's recipe, so when she passed away, she knew how much I loved and enjoyed cooking, so she passed on the recipe to me. How sweet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need more than three apples. Can you pass me those apples on the counter over there? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, remember when we were little in the backyard, we used to make soup? Yeah, I remember. We used to use, like, dirt and grass, like, as, like, the vegetables. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Oh, shoot! I totally forgot that I had the chicken cooking. <laughs> I was so caught up cutting the apples and talking about our, our life stories, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, when we were in the fight, I felt really lonely and I felt terrible what I said to you. <laughs> You're one of my bestest friends. I shouldn't have... Put that between us, you know? Yeah. I love you as my best friend. You know that? <sighs> well, I don't think this friendship is gonna last any longer. <laughs> what? Well, I'm done cooking the chicken. Anyway, what are you even- Well, you're wrong, Victoria, because we've never been friends. I've never cared about you. And look at you right now, dead on the floor. You're sick. <laughs> They're gonna find out who killed me. See, that's why you're wrong, darling. Because I'm gonna make it look like it's an accident. I'm gonna make it look like you fell on the knife. What? <laughs> May you rest in peace, Veronica. <laughs> I can't wait to see your mother's reaction. <laughs> Veronica. Oh, hey, Toby. Where's Victoria? I don't know. Weren't you hanging out with her, like, last night in her house? How did you know? Are you spying on me? No, I- I heard your conversation yesterday, and 
It's cool. So you're eavesdropping. Well, no, I wasn't at her house. I had to go to therapy. So I told her rain check. And I don't know, maybe she's sick or something. Maybe she overslept? Right. Well, I heard something else in your conversation yesterday. That why you broke up with me. Do you really like girls? <laughs> no, I don't. I just wanted her off my back, that's all. I broke up with you because you don't mean anything to me. What do you mean you don't care about me? Veronica, I gave you everything you wanted, and I loved you. Hey, Veronica, is this guy bothering you? No, but let's get to class. See you around, Toby. We need to talk. Yeah, what is it? Are we together? No, it's gonna be a casual thing. So we're never gonna be together? Listen, I can't be with you. What? Why? Because I can't feel anything. I can't feel love. I can't feel remorse. <laughs> so you've never liked me? No, I haven't. I never cared about you at all. I was just using you. I have to go. Hey, darling. What are you doing? Just finishing up my homework. Oh, okay. Honey, come here quick, now! I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh, my dog! Veronica, come here quick now! What is it? Just watch the news. Reporting news, Veronica Taylor has been found dead in her own home with a knife stuck in her chest. Reporters say it could have been a horrible accident or it could have been a murder on a loose right now. If you know anything about this murder, please contact this number right now. Oh my dog, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Victoria was your friend. Whoever did this must be punished. Sweetie, are you okay? I'm completely fine. I guess I'm just in shock. <laughs> it's okay. Everything will get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Things just got better. <laughs> <sighs>